We're going to start Hacker Replay today. Our first match comes from someone in chat. Apparently, this is either the luckiest person in the world, or who had the like luckiest slash best game of their life, or they're a cheater. We'll find out. In this match, we have Omlanda, which I assume is a the boys reference, uh, accusing Conte Prime. Omlinda is med from chat. This player apparently went absolutely nuclear in this match. And yeah, we did play five hours of deadlock yesterday. Hold on. What was that? So there's two drones muted out here. But the mute, I assume specifically did this to try to destroy them as well. But then Pulse is aiming at the drones through mute. And he destroys it there. Is that already cheats? He's aiming at a drone through a person and destroys it. I'm a little concerned already. Apparently this was supposed to be a hard to tell match. Or like a, I don't know if he just popped off or not match. But I'm already a little suspicious of that. Okay, so first off, I I don't know if he can actually see Ace from that far. I know a shot. I don't think you would be able to track him from that far away. Let me see exactly when he puts away the scanner. Okay, so he at least maybe saw him there. His feet were probably like lined up with that. Ace is by the blue bin. I'm gonna load up my handheld and we're gonna test to see if he could actually track him from there. I don't think he can, but we'll keep watching. I'm already fairly suspicious based off the drone kill and then lining that up perfectly. I'm pretty sure he's cheating, but we'll watch more. Or maybe he's got the Varsity Gaming Charm on his account. We all know the charm makes you significantly better at Siege. And for those of you who don't have the charm yet, you can sub now to my Twitch channel for 25% off throughout September. So if you haven't gotten the charm yet, now is the perfect time for you to get it for cheaper. While this uh, handheld loads up. Sometimes it can take a while. It did look like he was already staring at them, but I'm sure he would be able to hear them breaking open the uh, balcony above him. Did he just... I'm pretty sure he just fake... like, okay. We don't even have to test that. We know he cannot see that guy from here. Who even is this jackal? But he's like looking right at him and then he aims right towards him. I think he's trying to fake that he can see people on scanner, but he doesn't realize how short range the scanner is. And then he just keeps looking at them. The guy walked away, so he stopped with the C4. Nah, he's definitely cheating. But I'm still going to test the, the scanner thing, whether he could see him or not, at the, like, uh, what's it called, jail door or jail wall. The tension wall. Because, uh... I want to see if he's just dumb and doesn't realize that, like, if someone doesn't pop up on the scanner that you shouldn't be able to see them. And, like, now he's just walking around aimlessly, like... Seems like he's trying to fake it. I Also, I'm pretty sure his scanner... Maybe even his ping was, like, way off. The scanner he would have seen, I think he just pinged that. It pings, like, there, but then he throws the C4 over there. I, I, like, he doesn't even... No. I think he's cheating. I don't think there's any way he's legit. We do have his prime. Or prime, his name, which is Man United Prime. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's cheating. Before we check his stats, we're going to do everything exactly the same. It's going to be Ace. I'm going to walk Ace all the way up to the blue container. 
and then have pulse exactly where pulse was before. Okay, so I think pulse was like right about here, scanning. And then I have ace running over. Ace is now at the blue bin. Okay, so he can scan that far. He could see ace. It doesn't excuse the rest of the stuff where he was literally tracking people through wall and using the scanner from 50 meters away thinking that it was uh, within range. But this one was within range. Although Pulse was backpedaling, but even with a backpedal, he can still see the ace. And even if the ace like backs up a little bit, it's still visible. So this one was fine. Uh, the other one where he... <laughs> I guess just to prove it, because I know there's always going to be dumb people who are like, but what if it did work? He was standing right here. Jackal was at the window, which he is getting to right now. Shocker, guys. Pulse cannot track that far. He has to get all the way up to here, which he was not that close. Okay. Confirmed. Cheating. Now let's look up his stats. So his name was Man United Prime. Uh, he is a diamond after rarely playing, but diamond with a 1.7 KD. And as Evan has said multiple times, anyone who's in diamond with over a 1.5 this season, especially with how many cheaters there are, they cannot be trusted. And then before the next game started, I took a minute here to explain why I started streaming on YouTube. For those who don't know, I'm now streaming on the VODs channel, Varsity VODs. So anytime that I'm live on Twitch, you'll see me on YouTube as well if you want to go sub and watch on that channel. But here's the reason why I don't stream on the main channel. All right, I, I, so I'll, I'll just explain it all now. So basically, I'm going to start streaming on YouTube, but on the VODs channel, not on the main channel. The reason why I can't stream on the main channel is because it messes up notifications. So I upload a video at 11 a.m., and then a short at 5 p.m. If I were to stream at noon, which is my normal stream time, when people get the notification for the stream, they will no longer get notifications for the video, meaning the video will do very poorly if I stream close to it. I've talked to my YouTube reps about it, and they said that the only way to get around something like this is just to stream way earlier or way after your video comes out. So I'd have to stream at like 7 a.m. on the main channel, or stream at like nighttime, and neither of those options work for me. Or I could change my YouTube upload time, but a lot of people are so in the pattern of when I upload that I don't want to mess that up. That is why I'm streaming on the VODs channel. So when people, when this inevitably gets uploaded to YouTube, if people want to watch it on YouTube, they can. It's going to be a whole process of like getting it up and running and making sure it works properly, but it looks like it's working well so far. Can't find the Varsity Vaz channel from your main channel? It should be there. YouTube did recently change how uh, that stuff works, though. If you're on the YouTube channel, like just go to the main channel, scroll down, and then it says more Varsity. Varsity Variety, var Varsity VODs. You go to the VODs channel, and then you'll see the live here. And you can also watch all of the old streams there. In this match, we have Bitterer Poet 669 who is accusing... Um, who is it? Huggy's Kick. I don't really understand what he's looking at. Other than just looking at the people through the wall. And he just pinged that they're there. Okay, that was round one. I feel like that his game or like his movement does not match with someone who would just stand there and then suddenly be like i know where they are or where they're coming from he seemed to play a lot worse than that but then even though he was like kind of afk he comes back he's like okay they're all pushing this way does twitch still care if you stream on another site or have they stopped caring about that rule they stopped caring they changed that a while ago and i wanted to start streaming to youtube again but then the whole issue with the main channel so then now that I have the VODs channel up and running, I finally have, like, an alternative. Why is he just sitting inside of Master? Bro, he took two damage and he stimmed. I think they're jumping into bathroom right there.
What is this lobby? Actually, I'll, I'll tell you what this lobby is. When it was reported, it said that this is a silver-ranked lobby. I'm kind of seeing that. He just seems to be not that good, but then also the rest of the lobby doesn't seem that good. Like, he's literally sitting in Master, just in a corner, and no one even droned him. But the variety channel... I The reason I don't plug my other channels, so... In general, I don't plug my VOD channel, I don't plug my variety channel. This is on the grand scope of things for YouTube. Is that promoting a channel through your main channel actually kills your secondary channels. If you promote, like let's say, your, or if I promote my variety channel and then people go and sub to it, it just like kills the channel. Because then people will sub to it to support it, but then they won't actually watch. And having subs who don't watch any content destroys a channel. So I've learned from my mistakes, I no longer promote my channels unless I'm like, hey, this is a video that you guys will really like, you should go watch on the Variety channel, which is, I've only done once. I honestly don't know how he survived that. He managed to look left and right, and shoot the Claymore and it didn't go off. Yeah, there's a lot of shit with YouTube that sucks with how it works, which limits what I can do or want to do. That person completely left and he's still holding this angle. Which makes me feel like he's fine. But like, I don't know, it's weird. I know that he's in a low rank lobby, like this is a silver level lobby. But it just feels like, even though he's playing like ass, he's doing well. Everyone else is playing like ass and they're getting shit on. What the fuck was that? I just, I honestly can't tell if he's just so ass that he's good, or if he's ass and he's cheating. He also just overhealed himself instead of saving that. I'm pretty sure he has like 30 bullets left in his P90. He saw him go to the right. I'm not seeing any cheating. I'm, I'm seeing somehow he's doing well when it looks like he's ass. But he could just be getting lucky. And like we said, it's a low rank lobby. So it doesn't necessarily mean that his opponents are going to be good. You missed it earlier. He pinged ace through the wall while he was repelled. Wait, are you saying ace? There's no ace. I assume you guys mean Cappy Tau. He pinged this window. I think you guys are saying that he pinged the buck, but he's not pinging that. He's trying to ping like someone's out here. I don't... I understand what you guys mean. It does look suspicious because it lines up perfectly with the buck. But I think he's just pinging like, hey, this window's open and someone's out here. Like, it, it doesn't look like he is pinging that ace through the wall. Or the buck, sorry. I think that's fine. Because, like, he pings on the balcony, and then he jumps out on the balcony trying to get a kill. After the window was opened by an enemy. I can understand the suspicion, but I don't think that's suspicious. Especially because I feel like if he were to ping that, what would that... So what would that ping benefit him at all? So, like, if he's at this window, he pings that window, which leads to that person out there... Anyone who's over there is just going to see a ping over here and look at the wrong place. Anyone who's over here, they can't kill the person on repel. I, yeah, I think that ping was just... Okay. And then he does. But then <laughs> the mirror got team killed. Is Sight not on the other side of the map? Yes. I don't think he realizes that. I 
I think he thinks that site is over here. Bro, I hate this bug with the drone where you jump and it's just like infinitely humping the wall. That pisses me off so much. He did see Mira's head. Yeah, Mira. And also Mira just killed the blitz there. The mirror has now fully rotated across the map and he's still cautious even though she ain't here. He's got diamond. Does he? I didn't even notice. Does he have a diamond charm? Or oh, the diamond skin. Eh, diamond skin's pretty easy to get. I mean, I'll say his movement and aim seems better there than before, but like... Did he just line that dock up through the wall? Hmm. Guys, he might be cheating. So he perfectly aims at the dock through the wall, but then can't hit a default cam. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Okay. No, he definitely toggled on. I don't think he was cheating in the other rounds as much, at least. He is 100% cheating now. Before he pinged the buck on repel, he also stared at him. I saw that too, but like, I also didn't find that that suspicious, because like, I'm pretty sure they were just opening all the windows. Also, okay, to make it understandable, if you're standing here and windows are breaking on your left it could either be the one at 90 or it could be this one so he's like looking over at 90 and he's like okay it might not be that he looks over here it's open he's like okay it's open i still think that is completely fine and excusable now obviously last round not excusable i think he fully toggled on like he is not even playing like close to the same as he was before before he was just like bot walking around now he is quick leaning pre-firing everything and also like lining people up that was the big thing he lined up the dog he lined up the other person and the third person he just pre-fired one tapped which i think is oxymoronic but you know what i mean he lined up and then one tapped him also chat i understand he is cheating now so the ping on the buck might have been for cheating but i still think it's completely fine and excusable with how it unfolded. I don't think him pinging him is proof of him cheating. I think him lining people up through walls and then pre-firing them is proof of cheating. And also what Viper in chat said is 100% true and something that people don't realize is that it's very easy for stuff to look suspicious when you have outlines on. Just because they line up with someone on an outline does not mean that they're cheating. If you watched your own matches back, guaranteed in every match at least once you would aim at someone through a wall. I assume he's not pushing in because he doesn't want to draw suspicion after last round. And now, okay. This is just like... He is like clearly faking being bad now. This is what he thinks a bad player looks like. Even though a, a bad player just looks like him normally. But like he is intentionally, like he flicked right to the frost but missed. And then he intentionally over flicks way to the left here. He's just like, oh yeah, that's like normal bad aim. No, that's not how a bad player plays and he knows it. He's just trying to make it look more innocent, but no. After round five, he's definitely cheating. He lined up someone through the wall, pre-fired them. He cheating. Oh, he was actually previously emerald. Wait, wasn't this... The, this was the lobby that was supposed to be silver, right? So how is he in a silver lobby? He was previously emerald, but he's definitely cheating. He went from being a bot to just lining people up through walls. I'm going to go on a limb here and say he's intentionally trying to derank his account. Because uh, he went from having like a 50-50 win rate almost every single season to now being 42%. That is quite the drop. But his kills have only really gone up 
Which I, I think this is just him trying to derank his account so he can play against shittier people, but with how he's lining people up through walls, he's also cheating, so I don't really get the point of that. I feel like if you're cheating, you want to rank up. Match number three is Coastline, I think. In this match, we have Seafood Seafood Honest, Honest accusing Dave Blunts one. Apparently, he did write down in the document that the most obvious proof is at the very end of the match. So maybe we'll watch like one or two rounds. If we don't see much, then we move over to uh, last round. Very bold of him to just sit on that uh, vent because he could easily get grenaded and probably not have enough time to react. I don't understand his second drone there. He's been on it a couple times, but he never moves it. He just keeps staring at himself on it. I feel like normally you you move the camera around or like look at different angles. He just keeps staring at the same corner. Weird. Like his reticle has not moved off of this disco ball once. But I don't understand the point of it. I guess it's desynced. He just concussed someone, but he's staring at a wall. Okay, so this is definitely bugged. I don't know whether the drone is bugged or if the replay is bugged. Because the other drone, he's moving around fine or has been moving around fine, but this round or this one, he can't for some reason or it doesn't look like he is. I, I'm confused. Another siege bug, yay. Guys, we gotta be a little bit nice to Ubisoft. This game is rarely buggy, so we shouldn't shit talk it. Okay, so that one's also bugged. So it's not showing where he's actually looking on the echo, it just shows where the echo was looking at when he got when he placed it. That's weird. That's such a weird bug. Developing is hard. Very hard if you're Ubisoft. I love Siege and all that, but the amount of bugs that this game has is insane. And like, I know every game is different, and I know especially having destruction in this game makes it even more complicated for coding. But when I play other games and they have almost no bugs, I'm just like, how is Siege so buggy? Like, I play, like two new games I've been playing a lot recently are Deadlock and Spectre Divide. And I have not encountered a single bug in either of them. I'm sure there are bugs, but like I have just never seen one. Let's say like I see I play all these other games that are being developed, and they're all like not flawless. I'm sure they have their issues, but like no bugs, no issues to report for myself. Siege every day is a new bug. He's aiming a little too high. He's aiming above head level. Like he got a little lucky there. Oh, if he just pushed main stairs. Oh. Okay. We're getting a very different player from last round. Last round he literally just sat on his drone the entire time and what looked like stared at a wall. Camera's looking right at him. The drone on the right. Curious how he peeks this ash if he only checks that corner. Oh, he's cheating. He just spent... Uh, let me see. No, there's no one on cameras. He spent the entire round walking around. He would, would quick check things, but he never pre-fired anything. And then the one corner that ash is sitting in, he pre-fires. And what looks like it didn't even hit, but he got a headshot on her. Like, he's doing nothing. He waits here, crouches. I feel like he shot up here and somehow got a headshot down here. I 
I'm already suspicious of him. All of his kills were headshots, by the way. Even the first one, I was like, that didn't look like it hit, but I just gave him the benefit of the doubt, but... Uh, I don't know. Okay, what are these Valk cameras? I, hmm. For someone who ran around and got four kills, they have some ass cam placements. They have one here, one there, and then one in the pocket. You know, what normally happens when someone doesn't know how to use their gadget, but they have a lot of kills, or got really easy kills? They usually have walls. Did he even see the Hibana? He must have, but I feel like I didn't see anything there. It looked like she was behind the speaker. But I think if she was, she wouldn't have died. Bro, I can't... I can't see her. I, I legit just can't see her. Her head is covered by the wall. And here, it's just no man's land. I can't tell. I can see a bit of her shoulder. Oh no, that's the wall as well. I don't know how he even hit her. Literally a pixel. I don't even think it is a pixel. I feel like you couldn't even see her, but he still managed to hit a headshot on her. Because now I think that's his sixth headshot overall. There's a red ping. He was kind of ready, but I mean, Dash literally just killed someone. Again, I'll, I'll reiterate what I said in the last round. For someone who's 7-1, he doesn't seem to know how to use any gadget. The Echo one was a little hard to tell because it was buggy. The Valkyrie one, though, he was just throwing cameras in random corners and then just walking around and killing people. He even hopped on one of his cameras in round 2, and it was awful. It's like, how can you be this good at killing people, but you don't know like a basic place to put a camera. It's not just killing people, he's also like an expert at knowing where they're gonna rotate and uh, when they're gonna push. Like with all that knowledge, you should know how to put down a good Valk camera, but they just don't. Why does it just look like he stared at all of them through the wall? We also, we don't have their real name, so we will have to actually get proof in the in the round. Can't just look up stats easily. Also, I forgot that in this match, they specifically said the last round was the most suspicious. That makes sense. I'll skip round five just because they said Apparently he lined people up through walls on round 6, so... If I don't see anything crazy in this round, then I'll go back to round 5, but... I don't know. With his lack of game sense, but crazy aim, I feel like it's likely he's cheating. He's also, like, not really checking anything. He's just walking through the map. He did this every single attack. He's also been choppy the entire game. I understand that you could argue that he got on the drone and got off of it because he saw the Monty rushing over here, but what if someone was in this corner and was waiting? He would have just ran right past them. I don't know. I 
Again, not really checking a whole lot. I guess he's just assuming that things are clear because of his teammates being nearby. He doesn't see the person sitting right next to him. Wait, what? Did he hip fire that? Is there supposed to be an Azami here as well? No. So he's just staring at the person but not reacting to them. He did hip fire headshot them. Which he also didn't even see the person, I think, technically. But he hip fire headshot them. They have no recoil there? I know I'm no expert at controlling Buck's gun. But it did look like the gun did not move in a millimeter. Oh no, it did. Okay, it shook a little bit. That one wasn't too bad. I still think with the way he's playing and the fact that he's getting 11 kills easily makes me feel more and more suspicious of him. His recoil was low there too. I don't know, for someone who who is struggling to control Ash's R4C, but can perfectly or almost perfectly control the C8, feels a little odd. And like he lined up the dock, but it was also like he's peaking 90 looking over there. Like it could have just been a circumstantial lineup. Uh, let me see if I can find the match. I think now with R6 Tracker, I just need to find one person in the lobby, and then if anyone has R6 Tracker, I can pull up the match, which is nice. Okay, so everyone in this lobby from visible rank is silver to gold, except for two people, Stita and Dave Blunts. Dave Blunts is a champion. He went from platinum to champion. His history has always been silver to plat to champ. And I would say, again, how he like moved around and how he threw his Velk cameras didn't seem like a champ to me. He also seems to only be queuing with low rank people, probably trying to boost his account. He was with Metro Boomin, Katixa, Boredom, and Sliveramari or whatever. That could be a boosting service. It could also just be someone who has low rank friends. 300 matches together over the last... Oh, just... Wait, what? Oh, no. They have 300 matches, but they were with them for 121 matches. Oh, no. Again, how he played, he's not a champ. He's not even close to champ. But yet he got champ. So either he's playing with low rank people to in inflate his rank, which is why he looks bad, but he's champ. Or he might be cheating. Oh. You guys can c draw your own conclusions for that one. Anyways, next match. Clubhouse. In this match, we have Brandomite, who is accusing Diddy on R6, which I'm going to go on a limb here and say he's probably cheating because the amount of people I've seen recently who are just blatantly cheating and have the name Diddy, pretty high. Why is he just giving up the wall? He has another bandit. Bad bandit tricking. He easily could have bandit tricked that. He... They already used their nade. That was all their nades as well. Does the stream jitter for anyone else? I don't think it's the stream. I think what you're seeing for jittering is the players. Last game was super jittery. This one's a little jittery. It all depends on who submits the match. Because if your computer's not super good, it'll be jittery. Because it's trying to record what everyone's doing. But your computer's... Your computer might not be strong enough for that. Oh, Dobie's just in. Bro, he has been sitting here for like two minutes and still hasn't destroyed the radio. Thank you. The music kept playing. The radio's immortal. 
I assume he's scared to push in because of the mirror. I see two people in echoes, but I assume the echoes are on site. There's one, there's two. The mute's on a camera. Bandit was, he did like look to his left as soon as Maverick got to the top of the stairs or Flores. Gridlock, that's who it is. He almost hit them. I don't know if that would have been him hearing Gridlock, because you know it's Gridlock. She thick as fuck boy, but he did like perfectly play that for when Gridlock pushed up finally. He was ready for her and then keeps going back to the other people. I can't tell if that was lack of map knowledge. He looked at stock and then I think realized he couldn't get out and then looked away from it. He also did like glance over at the ace on his left, but looks the wrong way. Okay, that's good for him. Makes me less suspicious. Perhaps he just got very lucky. He's definitely cheating. Keeps randomly looking behind him to check if anyone's sneaking up on his walls or with his walls. I'll admit, it is suspicious, but it's not proof. I do look behind me a lot because I feel like audio gets better when looking the direction of sound. It does. That is the thing. People do turn around and pivot to look for better audio or listen for better audio. I do it all the time. It's just, it makes sense. Because if they're just on your left, it could be anywhere on your left. But if you look, then if, say, someone's now slightly to your right, they're okay, they're over here. Not just broad left side. So pivoting is not... Super suspicious. Oh, he's playing this though, so he's really dumb. That's just right below him. Or whoever that is down there. Flores, maybe? He got shot at, and then the floors ran away. I feel like if he was walling, he would have known that floors was down there. He wouldn't have just ran past him with one HP. Keeps looking down, like he was looking down towards the floors, but like he could have died five times there, and he just he kept like standing up, even though the floors would have been able to kill him, but the floors missed every single time. So I feel like he's just not that good, which is why I'm surprised that they even accuse him because he doesn't seem like a good player. Cheaters normally can't sit still. Same with people with ADHD. That's not proof. Don't know why he pinged that camera. I guess he's telling... Yeah, he was telling someone to get on it. Can hear Bagel crying downstairs. I think Annie had the audacity to go into our bedroom and not bring him with her. So now he's crying. My name, Eastern Time? Yeah. That's usually when the new season comes out. 9 to 10 Eastern. That was someone on the stairs, right? Yes. Let's say, it looked like she was outside, but no, it was very much on the stairs. They're down 2-0, by the way. He seems to be playing normally. He is missing things as well. Like when the Bravo was down, he had no idea from the looks of it. 
he also doesn't seem to always be aware of where people are. He seems to constantly get shot at by people who are close to him, and he has no idea. He did pre-fire that, but there's five seconds left in the round, and someone just threw a grenade there. Like, that's fine. I think I'll skip to round six. And will new season have less cheaters? We'll hope so, but it's very unlikely. I think cheaters will be exactly the same. The accused person does win, by the way. What is that mirror setup? Decade watched him run across and just didn't react. He did flick over and happen to line up with someone through the wall, but I think that was... Happens in, I don't think that was intended. Or he just looked at the bomb, he didn't even line up with the person. So that claymore blows up, that thermite's dead. Just don't think this lobby's good. He has eight kills now? I mean, he had four or five in round three. He only got like four or three more in two more rounds. Like, that's not that crazy. And again, like, first off, remember, this is standard. This isn't even ranked. The enemy team doesn't really seem like they know a whole lot of what they're doing. Like, that mirror setup is atrocious. He did see that mirror through the, the mirror before he ran there. I don't know. I, I think he... I think it's just a bad lobby. Okay, uh, uh, okay. I was gonna say, this does paint a bit better picture, but not really. So, he's previously only been copper and bronze. And now he's plat. But, he only ever played 20 or less matches in those seasons. Around 20 matches in the bronze seasons, only 30 three or no four matches in the copper seasons so doesn't really tell us a whole lot his kd hasn't really changed i'm sure he was supposed to be a gold or plat before as well he just never played enough oh so i was miscounting that that was 11 matches two matches 12 matches three matches i thought it was wins and losses so yeah he just never really played that much i feel like not cheating some people in my twitch chat have different thoughts a lot of them think that he is cheating but i I think that was fine. He says in the file, first three rounds he's fine, last three he toggled, he thinks. There's a 30% chance he's a cheater, 70% chance that he just sucks. Like the submitter sucks. I think his 70% might have been right. Not that he sucks, but like I just don't, the lobby overall didn't seem that good. In this match we have Lactose, who's accusing Emo Baby 708 I will point out, I know it's not proof of anything, but he does have the cheater loadout on his secondary, which is usually either Glacier or Black Ice with the purple attachment skin. He also did quick peek the glass, then line him up through the wall, and then shoot him. He could have based it off of what he saw. It looked more like he just lined him up through the barricade, but we'll see. This is another standard, by the way. So he could be a good player, shitting on newer players, but... Also, his reaction time and his aim seems... very good. If this Ash runs around the corner and just pushes sight, and then he gets off of this angle as the Ash pushes up, I think that's some proof of cheating. Oh, never mind, he looked away from it as soon as the Ash was finally going to go there. You did see the frog or the ash there. And they have a Valk camera watching it as well. Yeah. Any call out will be perfect there. And they probably said Ash just went through the double door to the balcony. I don't know. Seemed fine for the most part. The glass one was a little weird that like they looked at the glass, looked away, lined them up, and then pre-fired. But if you are good, 
at Siege, you can do that because you know roughly where they're going to be and you're just using like what you saw versus where you are to like triangulate their position a bit. So he's doing a normal setup. This is standard, by the way, so you could be playing with a new player. I don't know what the fuck this setup is. I mean, even just this fight alone seems more normal. This is like... How he's playing it is how he played against the glass, and it seems fine. So you just saw the Ash's foot there. He keeps quick peeking, and then he fires based off last known position. So like, he missed there, and then he saw the Ash running, so he tried to pre-fire the running spot. Missed both. Which is like a pretty common, slightly better player thing to do. Off the Grismont. Oh, as soon as he crossed, they crossed. Just popped his own mirror. Seems legit for the most part. I'd say so too. It feels like. Since it's standard, this feels like a lobby where he is going to be significantly better than everyone else. Like, everyone else seems to be kind of just like funneling in through one or two doorways. And then he is just holding that. Also, the computer is destroyed. This is just a replay bug where we can't see the destruction perfectly. But he was holding a tight angle on that door. Wait, what is this angle? I just learned something. I'm gonna use that. Like, for lack of a better comparison, this does, to me, look a lot like, for example, when I play with, like, Kit and Ben. Like, one player who kinda knows what they're doing, me, with two buddies who don't really know what they're doing in Siege. You know. He's also trying to shoot between the bandit's arms and body. That was quite the uh the dangerous play. And then he does a stupid cross. Now he dies. Uh yeah, I don't think he's cheating. Maybe we'll skip to last round. Actually, okay, in the file, he even says rounds one to three were the most suspicious. Rounds four to six were nothing. So if those were supposed to be the suspicious rounds, I I don't think that he was cheating. He says, he says that he thinks he's boosting two people on the team, which it's not really boosting if you're just playing with low-ranked players or friends in, uh, what's it called? Standard, but... He could be boosting them up to a level 50 account, I don't know. Uh, his stat history is a little weird, but not crazy. So, he was copper, but barely played silver, played a little bit, gold, played a decent amount, and then diamond, 311 matches. Champ, 164 matches. He played only 68 here, which is not enough to get stuck somewhere. Like, 68 matches with a 50-50 win rate being gold is, I think, fine. I guess I can check what mine is. I'm at 34 matches in gold, but I'm in... Oh, actually, that is weird then. Because if he was an actual champ player, he would be in gold in way less matches. He wouldn't have gone 50-50 like that. Or would have taken him that long. I, I, don't, I think he's just playing with friends. Like, this person is one of the ones that he played with. And they're level 88 in copper. His friends asked him to carry. Maybe. I I don't think he's cheating. Apparently only the first three rounds are suspicious. I'm not even going to bother watching the last three. I think he's fine. Alright, last match. Last one of the day. I would love for this one to be a quick one because I want to sit down. My legs hurt. In this match, we have Nel Ki, or Nel, Nel Di Caldi, who is accusing Admiral. Okay, he's looking where no one is. 
is a good sign for him. A bad sign that it's not going to be an obvious match and I'm going to be uh, sore for a while longer. This gameplay wasn't even that mind-blowing. Last one, yeah. Oh, he left. Oh, I remember this one. He leaves for three rounds. He comes back in round four. That was weird that he went and hid and then left. It's like he's... That was like a specific, like, he went to go hide so that he could leave. Like, you don't normally run into that room and then happen to disconnect. So it seemed almost intentional that he was trying to hide before he left. He has a, a champ or diamond charm. I think that's champ. It's flying around. And it, and it is ranked. Keep that in mind. I think that was a normal reaction time, right? I think if anything, it was even maybe a little bit slow. Yeah. He like fully crossed and then he shot. Okay. No droning, no one had even known that Thorn was down there and he was holding her. But then he missed that. Let me let me see. Was there any reason for him to know that Thorn was over here? She was hiding in the corner that I always hide in. Great fucking hiding spot. And then he walks up the stairs. Kills the vigil. And let me see. Did Thorn do anything at all? No. She just started walking over. And she started slow walking. But he was waiting for her. And, like, he was ready for her to peek up like this. Because as soon as she does, he finally... He just, like, swings and pre-fires her. I, I don't know. And look at the first guy through the walls. He came up banana. He did a little bit, but, again, that could have been, like, what we said before. He could be turning to, like, get better audio. That way, if someone's upstairs, you hear them on just your right. And if someone's downstairs, you hear them just on your left. It helps you place audio a bit more if you're turning and stuff like that. He just looked at all of them through the wall and then Amaru through the window and then looked at them again through the wall. Is he ready for a zombie? He's cheating. Okay. So he definitely left to toggle on his cheats. But even with his cheats, he's kinda ass. Just because you wall doesn't mean you're good. You're not wrong. But you would hope that someone who's walling, at least in my opinion, as blatantly as he was there, that you would be at least decent at the game. Hey, he did the cheater thing! He just did it! I've shown you guys this before. This is a trademark cheater thing. So it's usually whenever they go for a spawn peek or they're gonna like try to position themselves. So the round starts. Now, he looks at the right spawn, he sees one person. He looks at the left spawn, sees no one. Looks over at the third spawn over there, sees everyone else. And he looks back, he's like, okay, uh, do I want to jump out here then? He's only focusing on the right. Normally with this angle, you look at the left. Because when people run out, you can jump out this window, run past the porta potty and kill them. He doesn't care about that. He only cares about this one guy who he is kind of tracking. And he runs up to try to kill him, but... Realizes it's too far. That is trademark cheater. But now we, that's honestly that is enough for proof to know that he's cheating for sure. I just want to know who wins. And the legit team wins, barely, but they win. He was like blatantly walling, and he still lost. That's kind of sad. And also to make it even worse is that. He left for the first three rounds. If he had just stayed, I guess he had to toggle on his cheats, but if he had just stayed, he probably would have won. 
happens that he gave them two rounds or three rounds to win. Four and seven lost. Here it is. Admiral has changed his name to Topico's Fiend. He, he has been champ for two years? New account to champ right away, by the way. The fact that he's champ for this long and he's cheating is insane. And I, I almost want to go back to see if he for sure is cheating, but we know he is because he did the whole spin. He looked at all of them and then he ignored the left spawn, which you'd have no idea, to, like knowing that no one's over there. And he only focused on the right. So that means he has to know where people are and he's still lost. That is insane. So he's been cheating for a long time. I hope I can report him. I, I'll, I will say that I would report matches like this once in a while, but the, the most I can say is that recently... Ubisoft has been less inclined to ban people unless it's in my match. If I have a cheater in my match, then I can report them. But if I look at them through hacker replant stuff, I usually can't report them anymore. So will he get banned? Probably not. But the fact that he is blindly cheating like that and seems to have been for six seasons or two years is insane. And the left spawn is the most common spawn peak he definitely knew. Yeah, like you don't go to that window to do that jump out without looking to the left. Because that is the specific one that you're looking for on that jump out. And he knew no one was there and looked only to the right. So he's definitely cheating. We'll see if next season, if there's less cheaters. This video comes out on the Wednesday, so the new season's already out. But apparently we're supposed to get binary hardening, which is supposed to make it harder for people to cheat. But they said that about QB, and there's still more cheaters than ever. So I don't know how much I trust you beyond that.